the role of Gas Hill Center is critical in the community because we not only focus on the academic goals of the children and youth in our programs, but we also foster the development of civic engagement and civic participation because we believe that uh, our children need to understand their role in society, their, their rights and responsibilities, and uh, be able to develop the analytical thinking necessary to identify problems and be able to solve them. When I first came on in the early 80s, um, Pilsen was uh, not um, very developed in terms of it has, hadn't been urbanized, hadn't been, what's the term I'm looking for, uh, gentrified. And uh, it was um, a desperate community in need on many levels. Um, and this center here at Cullerton was the center, it was it. The Pilsen area was an entry point for immigrants, and it was attractive because it was uh, industrializing and offered many jobs, uh, uh, entry-level jobs. It, but as such, uh, the area was underdeveloped, and uh, the purpose of the Settlement House Movement was to uh, improve the, the conditions of the community and the well-being of its residents. Our newest location is in Brighton Park. We open a beautiful center uh, for children at this point, only for preschoolers and for infants and toddlers, but our goal is to build the second floor for youth programs. She's all right. One, two, three. Over the years, uh, Gads Hill has grown uh, in many ways. It's grown its budget. With that has come new centers. Uh, with that has come uh, new plans. Um, Grads Hill has, has broadened out. It's broadened out its program. Uh, it branched off into teens. It's branched off into um, f supporting families, generally. It's a much broader program now, uh, and there's a very distinct mental health comp uh, component to it as well, which uh, Thanks to Maricela and her uh, insights, uh, she's she's developed greatly. Those with Bluey is that they're like, as you said, they're really committed to it, and especially. I mean, I know that a lot of us in my age group are like going through a lot. Like some of us are experiencing anxiety, depression, like anything like that, and our mental health is like becoming more prioritized nowadays, which I'm very glad for. Um, but it has given us like enlightenment of what the world is like. For 125 years, Gas Hill Center has been a beacon of hope for the community. Another important um, feature of our programs is that we provide mental health supports so that our children, many affected by violence, uh, either uh, perpetrators or victims of violence or witness of violence, can overcome their trauma and focus uh, their energy into doing well in school and uh, growing the confidence that they need. When I came to Gads Hill for help, I knew Gads Hill would help me because there's a lot of people here who care about me, and I acknowledge that. And I'm very grateful for the people who actually care about me. Um, but they were like, okay, we're gonna get you into school. We're gonna make sure you graduate. We focus on education because we believe that it is through education, access to quality education, that uh, people overcome poverty and uh, aspire to uh, accumulate wealth, build wealth, and, uh, and uh, build a better life. Uh, but it's not only that. Education also makes you better citizen, uh, better community partners. Education is the foundation, the cornerstone for transforming lives. 
Gats Hill gives opportunity to everybody. I know that because I know Gads Hill has really helped me with a lot. I wouldn't be graduating without, without them. I wouldn't be in school without them. So thanks to Gads Hill, I'm being, I'm, I'm being given so many great opportunities and I'm so grateful for this. Gads Hill Center opened its doors in 1898 to serve European immigrants coming to Chicago to build a better life. And throughout those 125 years, the demographics have changed, but our commitment to support the dreams of families has not. Definitely come to Gads. If home life is not great, Gads will be your second home. <laughs>